All right, tubers. Yes, this day is another edition of the James and Mike show. Without Mike, I'm gonna take the manager off the truck. You see what it says? It says charge up. So it hasn't checked the battery. So we're we're gonna take the truck. We're gonna as soon as we take the truck, and then we're gonna. All right, tubers. As I said, we were gonna take the back roads to Ben Franken or wherever follow wherever the GPS takes us. So that's what we're doing. You're probably going to hear the GPS. So I was reading something. It's on. It's it's on the. I, I keep forgetting to put the link link on, but I'll put the links on there. Um, or basically to tell us something what you want to talk about going to the James and Mike show uh, page write it on there and we'll talk about it um, but basically if you go on the James and Mike show right now I have two little subjects that I want to talk about um, seems like Ford wants to put a diesel into the Mustang hmm I don't know how would you think that would go would, would you buy a diesel Mustang I don't know. I don't know if I would. I guess I just have to basically check it out and see how it is. Diesel Mustang. Hmm. I don't know. It might be neat. I mean, you know, because don't forget, at one time they did have a four cylinder Mustang. So maybe a diesel Mustang would be neat to have. You know? Maybe it'd just be cool because instead of having a four-cylinder, I think you know a diesel Mustang might be better. Where they have three choices, you know, you know someone that wants wants the V8, someone that wants a car but they want a sporty car, <coughs> but they want to save that fuel thing. You know, don't forget diesel is expensive, but it does get better gas, but better fuel mileage. So it might be a good thing, you know. You know, and a person that wants the mileage, and a one, and a person that don't care about the mileage, just wants a Mustang, a real pure Mustang with a V8. Then, you know, they can do that. So, you know, there's disadvantage. I what I, as I'll put it this way: it's disadvantages, advantage of it. Disadvantages of it is that. Okay. In point two miles, turn Mustang. left on Continental why, Boulevard. In my opinion, if you want to put a fuel efficient engine in it, why couldn't you just go back to the four cylinder section? Go back to four cylinder, have a four turn left on Continental Boulevard, and have a um, have a V8. I, I think logically that will make to me more sense, but it's whatever. It's Ford. It's whatever they want. As I said, I would love to lo love to see that. Continue 1.4 miles, so. then turn right on Whitehall Road. Love to see that. But um, there's another thing on there. Do you think they should legalize marijuana? No. I'm a person. I'm there back and forth. When they were, when um, WP by one of my news stations at, or have it had a vote, I'm in between. I really don't know. Should they legalize for only adults or should they just legal, legalize as um, for medical? Well, the problem is they legalize it for adults and people you use it anytime you want. In point six miles. Turn right on Whitehall Road. The only problem with that is that I see is now it has to go under a cigarette laws. You know, smoking laws. It has to go under those laws. So, you know, it, it might not be a bad thing. I mean, I really don't know. I mean, turn right on Whitehall Road. I just have this thing. I think it should be only medical because there are some things, some. Uh, illnesses that it will cure so 
I don't know. What's your guys' opinion? I, I am a little iffy about that. Iffy, iffy, iffy. So, I... Drive 1.9 really, uh, miles. Then taking the back roads right now, but what we're going to do is we're going to pass uh, Ben Franklin. I just want a different route for you guys. Pass Ben Franklin. I need to get some cashy cash out. So, you know, something... This is a different road, because I, mean, I take the same roads all the time, and it does get boring. You know, especially you see me taking the same roads. But, um... So, it just seems like now the truck's battery is just not lasting at all. Because I, um... What's it called? Uh, saw one of my friends, picked up one of my friends, and... She stayed over for the night because she's a trucker, so she, she was at the truck stop near me, and I um, picked her up, and and then you know, and I used the truck, and then you know, I only did two starts, and then I figured, oh, okay, you know, maybe I should find when I drop her, you know, drive her back, but no, no, the truck was dead, so as you saw in the beginning of that video, I have a, a manager on it, meaning it manages, it manages the battery. In point four miles, have to turn do, left I, on Muncie Exchange out, Road. What I found out is, you have to get that battery fully charged, so I tried it with the tractor and it didn't work. You basically had to get that battery to fully charge all the way up to its, you know, up to a good point like right now i have you know the alternator is charging it so as soon as i put the manager back on she should should be fine turn left but on one thing, exchange you know, road i'll put it back on the manager and it will charge it up and i'll just go from there until i get the money to get a new battery but i Really, the battery is not really concerned to me. Drive right 5.6 miles on Muncie Exchange I Road. I have to get this trainee look at it and stuff like that, so I gotta spend money on that. You know, a battery's not expensive. I know, I know, guys. Battery's not expensive. You can get batteries cheap, but, you know, under 100 bucks or 100, 120, but it, it's the point where I'll decide. I'll go from there and decide, you know what I really need, what I really want to do with it, you know. going left because I have to get someone some what's it called money out so <clears throat> just wanted to take you on this back road I think what I'm gonna do is I want to get that one toolbox back I have some things on to organize it better so I think I, what I'm gonna do is I am going to take those toolboxes into the house, get those uh, little things we used to use for light bulbs and all that. Well, I'm gonna use them for the tools that I have in the truck and make them uh, nice and neat. And actually, I do have one uh, set that has miss does that, it has pieces missing in the little toolbox. So I think I'm gonna use that too. So where I can put 
with that. I like, I like that one suit box that goes across. And then maybe it's warmer whenever I feel like it, I'll work on that topic and that I'm making. And I think I have some more better ideas for it. how to do it. Yeah, no better ideas how to do it. I'm gonna keep the um, what's it called rubber that I have on there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a a piece of board that goes across. The, Right at the ends, I'm gonna have a piece of board, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it watertight. So, basically, watertight, I'm gonna make it as tight as I can. So, and then what I'm gonna do is I am gonna I'm probably gonna put a Santa Proud Crystal used all the damn boards. I gotta figure this shit out. I don't need to go there, I need to go to sheets. See, I don't know how Crystal's using up all the boards. What I can do is, I do got those shutters that are junk, that are, you know, that Crystal destroyed. To make it like a plastic look, I can put the plastic, um, Cut, you know, cut the, uh, the, what's it called, the, uh, the head, the sides off of the shutter. Yeah, cut the sides off of the shutter, and then I can lay, then I can lay it directly, basically directly on top. Lay it directly on top, somehow secure it, I just have to figure that out, and then where it's flat looking, it looks good, look, looks nice looking, and it's flat, <clears throat> meaning when you look at it, it just won't look like, oh, okay, he just put the whatever on there, and it's, you know, that reminds me, that'd be a good idea, that'd be a good idea, no, well, I can't do it when I, Alright YouTubers, I'm at Sheets, I'll be right back. Alright tubers, I'd still record going back and forth from you know going from Sheets to Ben Franklin and to Wise. I just didn't record it, but YouTubers, I'm home. That's basically it on the edition of the James and Mike show without Mike. Um, that's basically it. So, 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please comment on this video. Alright, see you tubers.